Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another episode of my road to the show here on MLB 15 the show Benny the Jet Rodriguez We're getting things started in this one bottom of the second man on first and second base the pitchers already thrown 23 pitches So that's pretty solid We're just gonna try and make sure that he can throw some more pitches in this at bat But the very first pitch I'm gonna swing at it up and in uh, Not a great pitch for me to swing at usually I'm able to hold off on those ones up I don't know why I couldn't hold off on that one. It just looked too delicious, I guess. But the second pitch here, this one is inside, and I thought for sure I was going to be able to drive that thing. Unfortunately, could not. Usually, the fastballs don't seem to catch me. It's the, the off-speed stuff. It's the sliders. It's the change-ups. It's things like that that are a lot more difficult for me to hold off on. That time, I was able to hold off on a fastball, and now I'm starting to expect some sort of an off-speed pitch here. Definitely going to try and get on top of this one if I can and smash it out of the park. And here we go. Oh. Oh. Big old fail there. A strikeout in our first at bat. Uh, not a good start to this baseball game right now, but we're going to have a second opportunity here at the plate in the fourth inning here. And we've got a man on second base in scoring position. We're going to swing and flail at that pitch way out and down. I don't know what I'm doing. I just can't get a hold of anything in this game. That time we're able to hold off on it, thankfully. The fastball is a lot easier to pick up out of the pitcher's hands than the slider is as far as I've seen so far in this game. Um, it, I, it makes sense, of course, that it's moving a little bit more. And this time we're going to take another strike on another four-seam fastball. I was a little bit off on that one. Probably could have driven that one a little bit if I actually got a piece of it. Did not, though. Still have an opportunity here at the plate, though, as we take another pitch. This pitcher's throwing a lot of fastballs, and I'm starting to pick up on that. I think in two at-bats, he's throwing me, I think, two off-speed pitches. So hopefully I can pick up on that as he throws another fastball. That time nearly hit me. Very, very close. Uh, that could have been a free base for us. If we might have just held ourselves in there instead of walking away, we might have been able to take that pitch off the body and get to first base. But... It doesn't really matter because the very next pitch, we are going to smash this thing to the outfield. Thought that it could have possibly gone for a homer, but it is going to go to the wall. And we are going to score that runner from second base. An easy double for us that time. Uh, very nice hit there by Benny the Jet. And we are going to chase this pitcher out of the game here in the bottom of the fourth inning. So he did not last very long in this one, despite only allowing three runs. I thought that was kind of interesting that he pulled that they pulled him that early. Now, in the field, we're able to make a nice play here, a one-hopper here, a 6-4-3 double play. That might have been my first, maybe my second double play of my minor league career. So that was pretty cool to get things started with a nice out or a nice play here in the field. Um, you know, I'm obviously not as good in the field as I am at batting, but I'm definitely getting better. Hopefully, I can improve my fielding a little bit, my reaction, and then also my, uh, my ability to base run a little bit more efficiently in this game because I've been having a tough time with it. And here, guys, we're going to go for another double play, probably a risky chance there. I did throw it to second base before it, the, the ball went over to first. Could have just potentially decided only to go to first to make it a safe play and actually guarantee ourselves an out. But I wanted to get that second double play. So worked out pretty well for us. I, I mean, I was pretty happy with what happened there. Now, third at bat. We are going to smash this thing again out to the outfield for another double. Huge at-bats, guys. We have two doubles in three at-bats. Now, that was the first pitch of the at-bat. I usually try to, to, you know, take at least one pitch in every at-bat, but that one just looked too delicious. It was just up right where I wanted it, and we're able to drive it all the way out there to the outfield off of the wall. That's pretty nice, man. Two hits off of the wall in our first three at-bats. Not too bad. Now... This one, we're going to take the first pitch there. Like I said, I usually like to take at least one pitch. That's that's kind of what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to discipline myself as much as I can to actually do that a little bit more. But in this one, I'm going to not have the, the strength, the mental strength to hold off on that one. Or, uh, you know, I guess I, it probably would have been a strike either way. So it makes sense to swing at it, I guess. But I, I was off on my swing anyway. And then the third pitch, we're just going to get out right away. <laughs> that was kind of embarrassing. But what can you do? Two strikeouts. However, two doubles. So definitely could have been worse in that game. We are going to walk away with a win in that one. Let's move on to the second game of today's episode, guys. It is again against the Northwest Arkansas Naturals. Feeling very good about how we've performed so far as a team. But individually, I mean, like I said, I need to continue to hit the ball, I think, because we're still losing this, these games on a, you know, a couple times uh, when I've been watching and, and uh, really paying close attention, despite the fact that I'm hitting the ball pretty effectively. So I have to at least continue to do that and improve in the field. And we're going to try and do that right away here. 
first opportunity in the field, we do make the throw over there to first base. Second opportunity here, there is a man on first here, so it could potentially be a double play. And this time, I actually have to cover second base for the first time, but we still make the play. At least it gave me the uh, indication of what I had to do there because I was a little bit confused. I'm not a big baseball fan. I, I would have had no opportunity to, uh, to actually make that play unless it gave me a little indication. So I was happy that that happened. But look at this. We make it look really easy. I don't even think we actually touched the bag there. Maybe we did with like barely with the, the heel of our foot or whatever. But we are going to be able to make the double play there. Looked pretty good in the field there. So three double plays so far in this game, guys, or in this series, I should say. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the plays in the field because, uh, you know, they're not quite as exciting as hitting the ball, but it is still pretty fun. Now, first at bat of the second game here, I am going to follow the first pitch away. Man, I like I I just have such a tough time holding off when I see the pitch falling into the strike zone, even if it's something like a curveball. I just always want to swing at it, but we are going to hold off on that one, thankfully. It's a little bit easier, like I said, to pick up on those fastballs than it is the curveballs. Third pitch of the at-bat here goes outside. Really wanted to swing at that one. That cutting fastball is something that I usually will try to swing at, especially if it goes in toward the, ba the bat. And then uh, another pitch here. We are going to follow this one away as well, as you see the ball boy over there picking that one up. And he's leaving a lot of stuff over the strike zone, which means we got to make him pay. Our first home run ever! A huge home run, guys. That is awesome. It went off the wall out there. Deep, deep left center field. And that is going to go down as our very first home run here for Benny the Jet Rodriguez. He's mostly known for his speed. And look at the look at the other players in the dugout. They're going to give him the silent treatment. He's not even getting any celebration. There it is. There it is, guys. They're playing with him there in the, in the dugout. But, hey... We'll take it, man. Our first home run. Like I said, no more for his speed than he is his power. But hey, we got to get those home runs when we can get them, man. So next at bat, again, down 4-1. to one. Our only run of this game has been that solo shot by Benny the Jet earlier in this one. Men on first and second here. Second pitch of the at bat. And Benny the Jet is going to swing and drive this thing into the outfield for another RBI. Our second RBI here. And we get a man to second as well. And that is, of course, our second RBI of this baseball game. Now, 4-2 to two here in the top of the sixth. Benny the Jet doing everything that he can here. He is going to sling things over here, over to the first base, nearly threw that ball right past the first baseman. But we were able to get it there. And here's a replay here of Benny the Jet going deep earlier in the baseball game. Again, we did also have the other score of this baseball game with the RBI. So it's been a good game for us, despite the fact that the team is losing a good individual performance. As you see there, that all-star progress getting pretty close to the next level. I think the next level is actually Hall of Fame, so I might actually be getting close to that highest difficulty level as the pitcher pitches inside here. I don't know. It doesn't really seem too difficult right now for me, but at least I know that it's going to get more difficult as I go up in the minor league system. Right now, I think my player is actually slightly higher rated than everybody else so that's probably helping a little bit here as we ground out the second poor at bat there unfortunately but it's not our final at bat of this game as we have an opportunity here in the bottom of the eighth like i said though i still think that i'm gonna have a chance to hit even at the triple a level I, i've just been you know seeing the ball fairly well for the most part I, i've been doing better with my create a player than i actually do in my standard games like if i just do an exhibition game so i mean that's probably a good thing i guess maybe i'm just comfortable with his swing or something and uh if you guys are wondering i'm actually using the ken griffey jr swing i think it's ken griffey jr anyway that's what it looks like to me anyway and that's what somebody else said on a forum and I really think I'm comfortable with it. So here we are, guys. Another at bat. And we're going to hit this thing into the gap here between the third baseman and the shortstop. And we run this thing out for a single. Probably not the best hit of our career, but definitely showing off the speed there. We do go three for four in this game. So pretty good performance with the home run. Two RBIs and three hits on the day. 
very nice performance overall for these couple of games here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. Of course, guys, the more likes that we get on this series, the quicker I'm going to be able to upload it. I'm trying to, you know, prioritize this and Madden. So let me know if you guys are enjoying the series with the comments below if you would. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.